It is time to write another novel. Project F. So I've taken the note down so I can transcribe it. I need to put this back because it is not done yet. I actually reordered these because I have less than two here when that needs to come first. They're scenes that kind of flow into one another in more of this sort of like fun and games, learning about the house. She's actually gonna learn how to make armor and kind of the artistry behind that. But then we're going to start sort of like narrowing in on who could have requested the cousin's death and the armor's theory gets basically debunked and we get some cute moments with the other B story character that I needed. So let me show you what I have on my screen though because it is a mess. Much like the mess I made of my polish while I was thinking. Okay, so this is the initial note I had. Armor montage, shenanigans, yes. Then I have the actual notes that we need along with some thoughts and then clips of maybe like what some of the dialogue could be as we go about and then ending as they start talking about their first kills where the armor will actually share his but Tuovi notably dodges answering the question. Um, he doesn't push her on it but so as they've had this sort of back and forth the last few chapters we're kind of getting a little bit deeper rather than it just being like Ha ha funny. We're getting into like, oh, like a, a building a genuine friendship kind of thing. So that's quite fun while also learning some more backstory of both of the characters in a way. This is gonna be a chunky bit, but it's all like fun sort of snippets and stuff. The question's gonna be, how do I organize this by scene? So this is all in theory one chapter rather than one scene, because they're not gonna fully flow into each other. There'll have to be like a page break kind of thing. And that's usually what I consider it a new scene. All that to say, it looks a mess right now, but it gives me like some really good starting place for when I start to actually draft. Mm. I do think my reward for today, besides getting to crochet another row, which I did start doing last night, I got the first row for the first day done, is a nail polish company that I actually don't own any of, but I've tried from my friend as having their final sale of the year. And I think I'm going to snag a few, a few polishes. All right, so the first scene in this then is actually, um, chatting with the steward and picking up the tools from when the armorer actually killed the cousin. Um, they just kind of left them in their haste. Then we get the actual armor making montage. So let me copy and paste. And then um, she needs to fetch some supplies and chat with the B story character. And then we're gonna go back to armor making and first kills to finish it off. So this is also where we reveal that someone else um, within the royal family had died recently. So, okay. As it turns out, this chapter, this note card is worth four scenes. <laughs> Ooh, the sun is popping now. So I can turn that off. Let's sit down just a little. So I'm not blinded. I get out of my spot for one second and someone takes it over. Are you the writer now? Are you the writer now? Yes. Now, before we start the Pompadouro and actually begin writing in these four scenes, I need my other wrist brace. I'm hoping it's in the car because I did not find it in the house. I'm not finding it. I am stumped. But if that's the only thing I lost on my trip, I mean, that's pretty impressive, I guess. An unfortunate and very important one, but so it goes. Maybe no nail polish for me. Maybe another, <laughs> maybe another brace. Uh, all right. Let's get started. I'm actually almost done with this scene. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish it real quick. It's like one line left. Okay, done. 
And because I've chosen to count them the way I have, I can actually go ahead and count all 824 now. I don't have to actually finish the chapter. So let's go ahead and update this. Ooh, update progress. Yay. Update workout three days in a row. I have made my peace with never getting these next batches because I'll only be working on the weekdays. Mm -hmm. The max I'll ever be updating is five days in a row and I do foresee a time when I have scenes that are individually like 3,000, 5,000 words um, and then I will not be able to update them <laughs> at all if I don't finish them that day. So is this all the badges I'm going to get? No, no. I cannot get that one. But I'll get these bottom ones, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I will get all of these and win NaNoWriMo. All right just under the goal for today. And we got the next scene coming up. However, about time for me to take my medicine. So I think while I'm up, I'm also going to go ahead and do some yoga, take a little eye break. But that was a wonderful 25 minute sprint. Um, if I could honestly get each of these scenes done in 25 minutes, I don't know that I can, but if I could, that would be incredible. <laughs> A break for now. Okay, I'm a liar. Instead of yoga, I'm actually going to be making cheese bread because it is the Brazilian Grand Prix this weekend, if you can hear that in the background. We've been having fun making foods from the area where the Grand Prix is taking place, so have to do cheese bread, have to. It also feels a little bit like a nano tradition now. <laughs> I haven't made these in a while, so they deflated a bit, but let's see. I bet they're as delicious as ever. Yes, they are. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Scene two. Okay, my time is basically up. I am only like a sixth of the way through the scene, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna reset my timer and we're gonna start another 25 minutes. Oh, no more cheese bread. All right, this is what I get for that first scene being so much easier. I'm now about halfway through the scene, I'd say. It's coming together a little better now, but still not perfect. We are almost at the afternoon now. I do feel like this scene is definitely within reach today though. I think I just need a little bit of a mental break just to think over some things. So it goes sometimes. Oh, and I'm out of water. So I'm gonna actually do my yoga this time. I am a little bit sore from all my yoga with Adrian. All, all two days I've done it. And today, I did this one on a different account yesterday. Today is yoga for core and booty. I'm ready. Hi, Adrian. Ooh, ooh. So the way qualifying works, I have like a little ad break here that I'm gonna try and get the words in. All right, let's see if I can bridge these gaps. Get rid of the highlight. Thank you, cute little unicorn. And that is 1,454. It's interesting, compared to yesterday, where I felt just sort of exhausted by it, I'm certain the shots and the getting up early and having to drive so much did not help, but even though it took me quite a bit longer to get all of this done than like I'd in theory hoped, I felt good the whole time I was doing it. It wasn't fast progress, but it was progress, and I felt wonderful the whole time. I felt good. And and I, I'd really take it in that knowledge that it was gonna get done. I was gonna get it done today. Yeah, all right. Let's add this scene, an additional 1454. Yay. All right, my migraine medicine is in at the pharmacy, so I'm gonna try and go pick that up before any of the kids get out of school for the day. This was, yeah, just such a phenomenal day. A great end to the week because as a reminder, I will not be working on Project Death during the weekend. I will not be vlogging during the weekend. I will not be streaming during the weekend. So today is the last day for this week that I will be working on my projects. So you can see in theory, while I'm technically up 
on the nano word count goal. I will certainly be behind by the time Monday comes around, but that's okay. Kind of like a little race against the clock vibe. <laughs> especially for Nano. Also, is today the first day that I can't take a note card down? I think it might be. I got halfway through this note card, which is wonderful, incredible. I actually got quite a bit more words as I was really figuring out what each little scene needed within the bigger chapter. So I do feel confident going into Monday that I'll know exactly what to write and I shouldn't have any sort of hesitations. But alas, the board remains as intact as it was this morning when I woke up. Minus that I had the scenes in the wrong order. It's fine. <laughs> Please do comment down below and let me know how day three went for you. Oh my god. I was reading through the comments and I thought it was interesting that I was not the only one who struggled a little bit with day two. I'm thinking the like absolute high of day one. There's it feels like there's only one place to go but then the other people had the kind of opposite effect where not the greatest day one but then crushed on day two. So it'll be interesting to see if it kind of continues as like a a little, what, cosine, sine, wave. <laughs> Let me know if the weekends tend to be big writing days for you. And also, if you have a favorite line that you've written so far, please do share it. I should have looked at my document. I have made a mistake, but I'll try and do that for next week. Oh, that would be a fun Friday thing, wouldn't it? Like the last day of the week? I'm brainstorming here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you with a new video on Monday. Bye.